Hi everyone and welcome to another Sims 4 tutorial video and today I'm going to show you how to remove unwanted CC from your game. There are a couple of methods but this is the one I use and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up create a sim. You can start a new game or do whatever you like to do that. Just get into create a sim. Grab a sim. It can just be any of the default uh, sims and you want to completely remove everything, all the makeup, all the clothes, all the accessory shoes everything so we do that and what I generally do is I keep one of these sort of <laughs> as naked as possible sims I keep them in the gallery and then you know you've got one ready to do so you don't have to do this every time but it's important to make sure you get rid of everything because anything the sim will be wearing will be deleted so we have to make sure I'll do all the head stuff in a minute let's just get rid of all the outfits Okay, and then we just make sure there's no makeup left and no accessories. No makeup there. Okay, so we have a completely naked sim and then all you do is you just put the clothes and the hair that you don't want on this sim. So I normally just filter by custom content and then I just scroll through and decide what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep. I do this on a fairly regular basis so I shouldn't have too much to get rid of. Um, I just scroll through just looking for anything that looks, anything broken, anything that's that you know when they're bald or invisible but like I do said I, I do this fairly regularly not too keen on this these little hairs there but I may use that hair so I'll, there we go there's one so that's a, a faulty hair so we've done this one and just continue looking for anything you don't want anything that's dodgy I mean you can click everyone individually and just check they're not do not dodgy if you want this one's a little bit I haven't decided what I'm going to keep yet, but I'm just going to show you. So all of these hairs look fine, look like they work okay. I'm just looking for anything broken or anything you don't like really. It doesn't necessarily have to be broken, it can just be anything you don't like. Um, yep, yeah, this one's broken, so we're going to skip through to there. This one I don't really like. No offense to the creator, it's just not my style. But you can go through with a finer tooth comb if you like. You can just get rid of one or two things if you if you know you've got some faulty ones. Oh, that's a pretty hair. May have to use that in the future. Um, but we'll just take those ones for example. And then what you can do is, if it's not this glitchy like this, say it's this one, you can then go through and do exactly the same with the clothes. So I normally start off with the dresses and filter my custom content again. And then again, I'll just click and just remove anything I don't like or I don't think I'll be using or anything that's glitchy. These are all good. And see, this one's a bit, I don't like the sort of, it's a bit baggy for me, so I'm probably gonna get rid of that. And um, again, you can have multiple Sims. You can, you can get rid of quite a lot of bad CC in one go, really. Some body vines vine for the plant Sim. I'll probably keep that for the future, because I'm sure they're gonna be making a comeback. Um, anything else I wanna get rid of? Most of this stuff I know works. It's quite pretty. Ah. We have to use that in the future. It's always quite fun actually doing this because you find CC that you kind of forgot that you had. That's fine. Um, yeah, and I always do this. If I have a big bulk download of CC, I tend to do this afterwards. Wow, geez. That is one big wedding dress. Quite nice in the white though, so I'm probably going to keep it. Let's just check this one out. 
Yeah, I'll probably keep those. I may may not keep them for very long, but see again, we've got one like this. You can get rid of all of these dodgy files like uh -huh. that. I think that's about it for the dresses though. But you can do the same, you can um, go through all your tops, so these are all my custom content tops. That one's okay. Ah. Emoji jumper. See that one doesn't work so I'll get rid of that. And it doesn't matter, you don't have to really stick to the right it doesn't matter if you're in formal wear and you're picking anything, really. Mm -hmm. um, just see if there's any more I want to get rid of. What's this? It's okay. You could do guys, girls, stuff, anything you like. Huh. Yeah, I think, think that's all I want to get rid of. And then, you know, you can do all your shoes, you can do your accessories, you can do makeup, you can do whatever you want to get rid of. So I'm going to just pause the video here and then I'm going to have a look through all my stuff and I'll be back with you in a second. Okay guys, so I've just been through all of my stuff and there's a couple of things I want to get rid of, a couple of tops, um, outfits, some really dodgy hair. I mean, I don't know what's going on here. Um, so all you do now is you need to save the, oh, you have to give them a name. I normally just call them like bad CC, but you could just fill all this in with what you want. Just pick anything because it doesn't matter. And I normally just call it, call them, I should say, bad CC. And then you just need to save the folder. You don't need to upload to the gallery, but just save it. And then make sure they are there. Yep. And then you need to exit your game. And I will just switch over to my OBS because I'm using NVIDIA, um, NVIDIA Shadow Play and I can't record desktop with that. So I'll just switch over to that and show you the next step. You don't need to save your game, by the way. Okay guys, so the next step is to open up the Sims 4 tray importer. If you don't have this, you can download it. It's free. You don't have to pay anything for it. So it basically looks like this and it's got all of these stuff. You don't need to worry about that. It will then on this right uh, left hand side have all of your um, sims that you've made, all of your lots, everything there. So these are all my sims and my lots and all my rooms and all those stuff. Basically everything that you've got on the gallery. And then you'll find at the top, because it'll be the most recent, this is my bad CC file. And you can see like previously I've done exactly the same thing. I think I've done it like three, four times. I've got rid of bad CC. I, I suggest you do it regularly. Um, and especially after you've done one big batch download of CC, you can just check it all looks okay in the game. And if there's anything you want to get rid of, just get rid of it straight away. And then you haven't got it clogging up your game. But basically, here we are. This is the sim we made with all of our dodgy CC stuff. Then if you click this tab here, so you've got general at the top, then files, then CC, click CC. And it will tell you every single file that you're using. So uh, these are all, this is everything I want to get rid of. All of these, um, this list here, a lot of hairs mainly, and uh, a couple of clothes. Um, all of th uh, this is my default um, override eyes. So I don't want to get rid of that. So I'm just going to make sure I don't touch that. So all you do is you just highlight the whole list right click and go show containing folder and then it will highlight all of the files that are in your mod folder if they are in subfolders you might have to go through and um, do this a couple of times so you pick up them out of all the subfolders but mine are all in one folder and then you literally just press delete and they're gone and the way you can check this works is to um, reopen that sim and all of these should be read now because they're missing because you've deleted them so it says mods missing 16 and, I, and the one mod i've got there is the eyes which I want to keep so I'm not going to delete that one and it's really really a simple way of doing it there are other ways you can remove CC in The Sims 4 and I've tried different methods but I find this one the easiest and um, it means you don't have to trawl through your folders it literally will find them for you as long as you have a sim with them on and you can double check they're all gone just by looking to see if they're all red and 
voila um the sims 4 tray importer is available online just type it into google and i'm sure you'll find it but i will leave a link at the bottom of this video if you've got any questions just drop them down below and i will reply just key things to remember are make sure that you completely take everything off your sim before you start if you leave any cc makeup or any cc accessories or clothes or skins or anything like that then they're going to pop up in this list for you to delete but generally skins you should be okay because they'll be in this if it's an override skin then they'll be in this sort of subsection so you can just make sure you don't delete those and eyes but if you've got any anything else um then it will delete those as well but you can always you can always double check like if i click on this item you see the preview at the bottom so if you want to double check that you're not getting rid of anything you want i mean not all of them have a preview but you can double check i suspect the ones that don't have the preview are the ones where they're completely uh like broken but like this one you can see it's just completely missing it's completely invisible so you can double check but if you're doing bulk um, cleans and I would just suggest that you make sure that that sim that you very very start off with is completely um, naked basically and if you upload them to the gallery as they are you can reuse them that's what I do I have a couple of sims that I just have in my gallery that I just download and they're they're ready to go basically to start removing CC I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful if you did please leave a big thumbs up if you've got any questions if I haven't made it very clear haven't explained it properly then do drop them down below and I will happily answer them and I'll see you soon bye guys